Are you sure Matthew is at the church? Yes, he is hanging around with Father John. Oh, I hope he doesn't irritate Father John with his questions. Yeah, I know. He can be a little irritating sometimes. There they are. Come, let's go there. Good morning, Father. Good morning, children. Hello, Matthew. Hello, George. Father, what are you doing here with Matthew? I was just telling him about the book of Judges. Book of what, Father? Oh, haven't you heard about the book of Judges? No, Father, we haven't. Hmm. All right. Come here and sit down. I'll tell you a story from the book of Judges. Have you heard the story of Samson and Delilah? No, father. Who were they, father? Samson depicts the tragic fall of a mighty man. His birth was considered a miraculous event, and even before his birth, his life was dedicated to God as a Nazarite. The angels had warned Samson's parents to never cut his hair. And since Samson's life was dedicated to God, he was not supposed to drink wine and he also shouldn't eat unclean meat. He was sent by God to protect the Israelites from the Philistines. Delilah, it's getting dark. We must get back home. Hey, Look at that. Delilah, we must go back. What? What was that? Ah? Uh, Delilah, over there. Oh my God! Oh my God! Jalila, run! Help me! Somebody help me! Help! Ah! Samson and I live nearby. Samson? Yes. What's your name? Uh? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Delilah. I am from Philistine. Delilah! Delilah! Oh, you're alive. He saved me. You are Samson, right? Yes, I am. How dare you meddle with the affairs of Philistines? You should be thanking me. I saved one of yours. Now go away. <sighs> Come on, let's go now. Who was he? He is Samson, an Israelite. We ruled over them. 
He is so strong. Samson was gifted with extraordinary physical strength. It was given to him by the God to save the people of Israel. The people of Israel had disobeyed God, and so God sent Philistines to rule over them. For 40 years, the Philistines had made the lives of Israelites miserable. But now, it was time for God to send the Philistines away. The Philistines had heard of Samson's strength. I tried to question him, but he walked away. That arrogant Israelite! We must teach him a lesson. We can't afford to let him go on like this. Yes, he could be a danger to Philistine someday. We must destroy him now. But we don't know where he lives. Hmm. Attack the Israelites and he will come to save them. The Philistine army seized Lehi, a town full of Israelites. They knew that Samson would come to save his people. Please don't hurt us. Please. Why are you doing this? What wrong have we done? We will stop only when you tell us where Samson is. Samson? But we don't know where he is. You don't know? Then go and find him. Ugh. We will have fun with your people until then. Now go! Yes, sir. We will find him. So, all the men from the town of Lehi, some 3,000 of them went up to the nearby mountains searching for Samson. Samson! 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 <sighs> Who could that be? Samson! Who are you? What do you want? We are coming from the town of Lehi. The Philistines are attacking us because of you. What? Because of me? I must help them. Wait there! I will calm down! Yes, Samson. They are beating all our women and they are not sparing any children too. Please, Samson. Please come and save us. What do you want me to do? We have to tie you up and hand you over to them. Unless we do that, Lehi will be destroyed. I shall come with you, and you can join me up, but... But what? But you must promise me that you won't kill me. Thank you, Samson. We promise that we will not hurt you. All right. Then wait there. I'm coming down. And so, they tied Samson with two new ropes, and they brought him to the city. Here, sir, we have brought you what you wanted. Now please let our people free. <laughs> Not so strong now, are you? Uh. Take him to the city gates. We will hang him there. But suddenly, the power of God came over Samson and he broke the ropes around his arms as if they were thread. There was an old jawbone of a donkey lying in the dirt. Samson picked it and swung over his head. It's 
Samson, I must go and help him. Samson, Samson. Ah, Delilah, Delilah. Yes, it's me. Wake up, Samson. Delilah, with the jawbone of a donkey, I killed a thousand men today. Yes, you are a great warrior, but you are wounded. Please come to my house. Where am I? This is Gaza. This is where I live. Please come with me. All right. Take me to your house. Delilah took Samson to her house and tended his wounds. Samson was blessed by God, and his wounds healed quickly. The wounds have healed. He is much stronger than I thought. But the Philistines were getting restless. They were getting angry of all trouble Samson was causing. They had to find out what made him so strong. Over a thousand men dead, more people injured. Who is this Samson? I heard he got his powers from God Himself. Those stupid Israelites—they believe all stupid things. We must find the secret of his strength. Only then can we defeat him. Uh, uh, but how? Hmm. Let's go to Delilah. Maybe she can trick him into telling the secret of his strength. I think it's a brilliant idea. Only a woman can learn the secret from him. Do you think she will agree to help us? Who is going to refuse bags of silver? Ha <laughs> After a few days, the leaders of Philistine came to Delilah's house when Samson was not around. Delilah, you must save our people from the hands of Samson. You are the only person in this world who can find the secret of his strength. But I tried. I have asked him several times, but he never told me the truth. Lie! You are lying. Unless you tell us his secret, we'll burn you alive. Ah! Ah! Have you forgotten the ten thousand pieces of silver promise? <laughs> ah! Leave her. Ah! Uh, uh. I did. I did my best, but he never tells me the truth. I tied him with seven new bowstrings, bound him with new ropes, wove his hair into the wrap of the web. But, but, stop playing games with us. We'll come back tomorrow. If you don't get the secret by then. Come, let's leave. Huh? What am I going to do? That night, Delilah poured wine in Samson's glass and got him drunk. Samson, you have fooled me so many times. I wonder if you love me at all. Oh, my darling, I love you more than I love my own life. No, you don't. You are just lying. No, my dear, it's true. If you really love me, then why don't you tell me the secret of your strength? My love, ask me anything but that. If I reveal that, then it'll be my end. Ah, my head. Why is it so? Tell me, dear. I'm sorry, dear. But I can't. You don't trust me. That's why you are not telling me the secret. I, I trust you. Tell me, dear. Delilah, my love, I'm a Nazarite. Nazarite? What does that mean? The Lord, the Lord has chosen me. I shouldn't, I shouldn't drink wine. 
I shouldn't cut my hair. I should always be at his service. Nazarite, huh? Sleep well, my dear. Your secret is safe with me. Shh. Shh. Here. Ask the leaders to come here. I have found the secret. Yes, I will. That night, Delilah summoned the leaders of Philistine and revealed the secret to them. It's his hair. Once you have cut his hair, then he will lose all his powers. <laughs> so it's his hair. Cut his hair now. Yes, my lord. What? Delilah! Delilah! Who are they? <laughs> Good job, Delilah! Here is your reward. Delilah, how could you do this to me? I trusted you. I'm sorry, my dear. But they threatened to kill me. I'm sorry. I... I should have never trusted you. <laughs> Where is your power now, Samson? You fool! Untie me and I will show you. You filthy Philistinian! How dare you! Hold them! Hold them! Leave me, you! I'm going to poke your eyes out. Let's see how you fight without your eyesight. No! No! Please stop! You promised me! We kept our word. We didn't kill him. And you got your money too. Now move aside. No! I will not let you. I said move, you! No! 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 Ah! That night, Philistine kings grabbed Samson and they did a terrible thing. They poked his eyes out, tied him with chains and dragged him away. They locked him in a prison cell and they put him to work turning a great wheel. Day after day, Samson turned the heavy wheel. Ah! 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 Delilah! How could you do this to me? I was sleeping so peacefully in your lap. Why should I blame her? I'm the one who took the walls. My God, how many failures. I sinned. I broke my vows. Lord, be merciful to me. Please forgive all my sins. Please. <laughs> Samson realized his mistakes, but there was nothing he could do now. He was blind and shut in a prison cell. He had lost all his powers too. He prayed to God day and night seeking mercy and slowly his hair started to grow back. Ha <laughs> ha ha! That stupid Samson! He thinks his God is greater than our great God Dagon. He is a fool and he is rotting now in prison. This should be a lesson to everyone who stands against our god Dagon. I say we must celebrate. We must celebrate our victory over Samson. Yes, let's have a feast to celebrate our victory. The leaders of Philistine organized a feast to celebrate their victory. 
They thought their god Dagon had given them their victory over Samson. Of course their god had nothing to do with it. There is no god Dagon at all. Hey, listen. Let's bring Samson out here so we can have some fun with him. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. It would be fun. Bring Samson here. Yes, my lord. Huh? Where am I? Keep walking. Ah. Uh. Take him to the stage and fasten him between the pillars. Yes, and leave the chains long enough so that he can dance. Dance. Ha ha ha. It would be fun to watch that blind giant dance. What? What are you doing? Uh, where am I? You are at the temple of our great god Dagon. Uh? Dear people, the sacrifice is over. Now you can watch and enjoy the dance by Samson. Ha 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 ha! Start dancing, you blind giant! Yay! Start. We are waiting. Dance, you fool! Ah! Oh. Yeah, beat him more. It will be fun to watch this giant dance in pain. Can't you hear? You are asked to dance. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh. No, it's because of me. It's all my fault. The temple was crowded with over three thousand men and women, and they were all having a great time, making fun of Samson and his god. But Samson was quietly praying. Dear Lord, please remember me, your servant. My God, give me back my strength, just one more time. Please, God, help me this one last time. Please. God gave him back his powers. And when Samson realized this, he walked between two large pillars and placed his hands on them, one on each side. Please, God! Ah! 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 He pushed with all his might. The pillars gave away. And the stones of the great building came crashing down in a thundering roar of cloud and dust. It all came tumbling down on the five evil kings and the evil people who were celebrating there. The rock fell on Delilah too. Samson too died with thousands of other people. And that's the story of Samson and Delilah. Did you like this? Yes, father. So, shall I ask you a few questions? Who can tell me who the judges were? Judges were the liberators sent by God whenever Israelites were suffering. That's correct. And who can tell me what a Nazarite mean? A Nazarite is a person whose life was consecrated to the service of God. He would be under the vow to never consume alcohol, to never cut his hair, and not to eat any unclean food. That's good, Lucy. And what was the secret of Samson's strength? Samson was a Nazarite, and because of this, God had given him immense power. And how did Samson lose his power? Delilah tricked Samson into drinking wine, and when he was asleep, they cut his hair too. Excellent, Lucy. Let's leave now, and when you come tomorrow, I will tell you the story of Ruth. Who was that father? Was she an Israelite too? No, my child. She was not an Israelite. God does not favor any particular race. Ruth was a Gentile woman, and she became the great grandmother of King David, from whose dynasty came the Messiah. We shall learn her story tomorrow. 
Goodbye, Goodbye father. father. Goodbye, children.